The field of Republican candidates in the 2024 presidential race is growing. Former New Jersey Governor, that's Chris Christie, former Vice President Mike Pence, and North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum are all announcing their runs. Caitlin Huey Burns is in Washington keeping track of all the candidates who are getting in. Caitlin, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Gail. Well, Chris Christie will make it official tonight with a town hall in New Hampshire. Remember, Christie was once a Trump ally and advisor, but now he's trying to set himself apart from the rest of the field as one of the toughest Trump critics in the race. He liked himself more than he liked me. <laughs> Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie once used his Street Fighter brand to defend Donald Trump. I am proud to be here to endorse Donald Trump for President of the United States. Now he's hoping to bring him down. I got off the train when he stood up in the West Wing of the White House behind the seal of the president and told us the election was stolen. Christie is testing whether there are enough Republicans willing to get off that train with him, focusing his second run for the presidency on New Hampshire's independent voters. But he joins an already crowded field of candidates, which may benefit Trump. The answer, Iowa, is strong, conservative, Republican leadership. Former Vice President Mike Pence filed his paperwork for president and will launch his campaign tomorrow in Iowa, where he hopes to court evangelical voters away from his former boss. And North Small Dakota Republican boy. Governor Small Doug Burgum will also join the fray on Wednesday. Anger, yelling, infighting, that's not going to cut it anymore. But one GOP politician is making news for not jumping into the race. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu says he can be more effective from the outside. I think more folks within the Republican Party have to have that kind of voice and making sure that this is about the Republican Party, not just about the former president. Now, the next challenge for all of these candidates is meeting the debate requirements for that first crucial debate coming in August. And among the criteria is a pledge to support the eventual nominee. Now, notably, Donald Trump hasn't said whether he'll sign such a pledge. And actually, he's hinted at skipping that debate altogether. Nate? We shall see. Caitlin, thank you.